Hey, it's Jennifer Sparks. It's day 11 of our 14-day exploration of Las Vegas. I'm staying at Alara, and we are walking over through the Miracle Mile shops. We're going to be having breakfast at Blondie's. You seriously need to check this out if you want a good deal in Vegas. Breakfast is $4.99, and Bloody Marys are $2.99. They also offer a more extensive menu as well. The Miracle Mile shops is conveniently located on the Strip, and it's connected to the Planet Hollywood Resort and Casino and Alara. It's super early in the morning. It's always a good idea to fuel up before your long day in Vegas. We're going to be doing a lot of walking today. Everything in Vegas is a lot farther than you think. So make sure if you go to Vegas, you bring good walking shoes. Back to breakfast. Here's a look at the $2.99 Bloody Mary. It was very big. Very nice. It was very good too. Um, for breakfast, this is the $4.99 breakfast. You get the potatoes, the scrambled eggs, and a choice of, I think it was a choice of ham and bacon. So make a note to yourself. If you're looking for discount dining bargains in in Las Vegas, check out the Miracle Mile shops. Okay, we're all fueled up now and ready for our tour. You're gonna to be seeing a lot in this video today. I started filming and creating this video series to help other people have a better idea about how they're gonna get around in Vegas. What is next to what? How do you get there? We are currently in the horseshoe now, getting on the monorail that is gonna take us over to the Westgate Resort and Casino. You could purchase tickets for the monorail online ahead of time, or you could buy them right at the gate. One-way tickets are $5 a person, or you could buy a limited ride as much as you want for 24 hours passes, as well as three days, five days, seven days. So it's good to know ahead of time if you're going to be using the monorail, where you're staying, where you wanna go, and how much you're gonna be using it before you decide what ticket option to buy. I'm here with my husband, Kelly, and we bought the one-day 24-hour pass. The monorail is located on the east side of the Strip, which makes it very convenient if you're staying over there. Right now, we're going past the Link Hotel and the Link Promenade. The monorail also passed by the Flamingo Hotel and Harrah's, which both have stations as well. From the Harris Station, you could easily walk over to the Venetian and the Palazzo. I personally love the monorail. It's such a fun and scenic way to see Las Vegas. I actually have a full video about this and all the stops. If you want to see that, I'll link that at the end of this video in one of the end screens. If you're liking the idea of the monorail and you want to stay at a hotel on a monorail station, the hotels are MGM Grand, the Horseshoe, Paris, the Flamingo, the Link, Harris, Westgate, and Sahara. Staying at any of those hotels will give you direct or very close access to the monorail station. We're gonna be seeing a lot in this video today, but right now we're gonna be seeing Westgate. We're gonna do a walkthrough over here and I'm gonna show you what it's like. For those of you that don't know, the Westgate was once called the International Hotel. The, this is the place, if you saw the Elvis movie, that Elvis had his long, painful residency in, this is the place. The Westgate is a full-scale hotel with restaurants and a casino, but it is also a timeshare as well. I spent a whole week here in September. I own a timeshare over in Orlando that's a Westgate, so it was so cool to come here and see what this one was like. I really enjoyed my stay. The vibe is really cool in there too. It kind of has like little elements of hard rock, you know, or Planet Hollywood where they have the memorabilia and they have like the big concert thing going on where you can watch videos. I really enjoy the atmosphere. It feels very comfortable and familiar to me. Currently, Barry Manilow has a residency here. There is also a Motown show here that's very popular. We're gonna go take a walk around. I'm gonna show you some of the restaurants that you could find over here. We're gonna go see the sports book. Uh, this area over here is beautiful. I love, I'm not sure what's going on with the carpeting at this moment, but I'm sure they were redoing it, but it was beautiful. Look at this ceiling and this wallpaper. <laughs> it's just got that like historic, just beautiful. It was built in the 70s, so it's not too old, but it's got that Hollywood Regency beautiful decor that I love so much. We're gonna take a look and to Benihana. I have never ate here, but it was open, like at least open to for me to walk in to go film it. So I just want to give you a little tour of it. It's beautiful. For those of you that are new to my channel and just finding it, my name is Jennifer Sparks. I started this channel a few years ago. I mostly do videos about resort tours and reviews and casinos and timeshares. But you know, you know, getting around Vegas deserves a channel on its own. So I started this day-to-day -day thing. So if you're new to Vegas and you're not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? And if you already subscribed, you rock the hardest. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. And feel free to comment below if you agree with anything I say or you want to add something in or tell me about your experience. I'd love to hear from you. 
I feel one of the most impressive things about Westgate is this sports book. I don't even go to sports books, but look at this thing. Look at it. It's amazing. It's hidden in the back of the resort. So if you do go visit Westgate and you want to see this, just keep going towards the back. But that's actually where the Uber and the Lyft drop off is. So if you're taking that, you'll probably see that first. The husband Kelly met Barry and they instantly became lifelong friends. I usually travel alone. My husband Kelly has a three season landscaping business that he owns and operates. So in the winter time, he gets to go explore with me a little bit. This is his first time seeing Westgate and many of these resorts. So it was a fun day for sure. A lot of people ask me, what do you do in Vegas for 14 days? I'm like, you walk and you walk and you walk. So what else are you gonna see in this video? We're gonna be going over to the Sahara next. And from there, we're gonna be walking over to the stratosphere or also known as the Strat. I have only been there once. Maybe it was like the 90s when it first opened. I'm interested to see how the walk is and I'm gonna take you guys along with me. And tonight we're gonna be going over the Tropicana. We're gonna go see Purple Rain, a Prince tribute. We're entering into the Sahara now, which is about a five minute monorail ride from the Westgate Casino and Resort. The Sahara really isn't very close or convenient to anything, and but it's been around for a really long time and it had a total remodel. This place is beautiful and the prices are pretty reasonable too to stay here. But one thing that is very close and super convenient is the monorail. And having that definitely makes the Sahara a really good location because then you could take the monorail and go anywhere. Like any casino, if you do choose to go to the Sahara and you plan on gambling, make sure you get yourself a player's card. I was very fortunate with the crowds this day at Sahara. It was a couple weeks before Christmas. It was during the week. It wasn't a busy time. It made it very easy for me to film. Now we're going to go take a walk over to the Strat, also known as the Stratosphere. I've never walked down here before and I'm very interested to see how the walk goes. Walking to the Strat from the Sahara took about maybe 10, 15 minutes. It felt a little sketchier because it wasn't as touristy. There wasn't security and police everywhere, but it didn't feel unsafe at all. I probably wouldn't do it at night though, to be quite honest. After our tour of the Stratosphere, we're gonna be walking back to Sahara where I feel more about the businesses we're gonna pass and all that stuff. On the way there, I was kind of concentrating more on where we were going. The Stratosphere, like Sahara, there really isn't a lot of resorts around there. It's kind of a little like on its own, but the rates are really good here. And it's really large and there's attractions here. They have the, you know, the big viewing area that you can see beautiful views of Vegas. They have attractions. So, you know, you could probably spend a whole weekend here and not get bored. Have you ever stayed at the Stratosphere or Strat? Is this your favorite place to stay? Let me know in the comments below what you like or don't like about it. I would love to hear about your experience.
So guess what me and Kelly did? We went and we got our player's card and we're gonna hit some slot machines. The point of getting the player's card is usually the first day, and you have to do it usually the first day, is you get a promotion. I think this was like if you spent $10, they're gonna give you $10 to play with. They don't give you the $10, but they give you $10 in your account that you could use to play again. So really you're putting 10 in and you're getting $20 to play with. Did I enjoy my visit to Stratosphere? Yeah, it was good. It wasn't like, you know, anything there that was like, oh yeah, remember that? Like I'm watching this video remembering it, but it was nothing very that stands out in my mind. It had, you know, it was built in the 90s. It kind of feels 90s, but it's not bad. It's just like nothing just wowed me. Now we're gonna walk back to the Sahara. On um, the differences, you know, like I said, both of them are like kind of on their own. They're not really close to a lot of things. I just think the property in Sahara itself had a lot of wow factor. So on our walk, we found where you could get married by Elvis and you could also for $35 get a pretend wedding photo. Like if you wanna freak out your family or your friends, this video is only 18 minutes long, but it seriously took probably about six hours out of our day. This is just really crammed in of what we did in a day. That's another reason why we like these long trips, you know, but we'll take breaks during the day. You know, a lot of times we get up super early in the morning, but then by two o'clock, we're back in the room resting and we might not even go out again. You know, I work on my videos and do other things and we go to the pool and you know, there's just so much to see in Vegas. Let's continue our walk to Sahara. Break it down. We're gonna hit a couple slot machines before we hit the monorail. Look at these fancy leopard chairs. We hit a couple bonus features, but nothing, you know, worth talking about. <laughs> we had an average day. Break it down. If we figure out how we're gonna get out of here, <laughs> can't get that door open. We're gonna go back to Alera, which is connected to the Miracle Mile shops where I showed you where we had breakfast. We're gonna go get a little snack there. That's really a good deal. I'm gonna show you in a little bit. Once again, we're gonna be using the Horseshoe Hotel Station, which is also the Paris Station as well. Here is a look at their blue bowl, which is not open for the winter. That is a very important thing to consider if you're planning a trip in the winter. Is the pool open? They're not all open. The Miracle Mile Shops, where we are now and where we're going to be having dinner, is about a 20-minute walk from the Horseshoe Station. You have to literally go through all of the Horseshoe and all through Paris down the strip to get over here. One dining place we have not tried the Miracle Mile Shop is called Ketchup Burger Bar. We probably should have tried the burger, but every day of the week they have a different deal. And today is buy one, get one free chicken tender deal. And who doesn't love a deal, especially in Las Vegas? Everything is gonna cost you more than it does in your hometown, trust me. Well, except for the Miracle Mile shops. And that's why I talk about it so much in all of my videos, cause it's a good deal. The chicken tender platters is $13 and then you get one free. So that's a heck of a lot of food. So if you have a family, and you wanna get this deal, you're gonna get like food for everybody. We're staying over at the Connecting Alera. We have a one bedroom suite there from our timeshare. So we have a beautiful kitchen to eat it in. So we're like, hey, let's go get some wine <laughs> and eat it over there. We're gonna go take a little walk over down here to go to the nearby Bellagio to go check out the fountain show before we head over to the Tropicana to go see Purple Rain, the Prince Tribute. We are once again walking over to the Horseshoe to take the monorail because that's the closest monorail station and we're going to be going over to MGM Grand and from there we can walk over to the Tropicana. 
I highly recommend if you can figure out ahead of time what shows that you and your party want to go to because that should play a, a role in where you want to stay. You know, unless you have a lot of time, traveling from one place to another takes a lot of time. So it's good to kind of have an idea ahead of time. Unless you're not even interested in going to shows and events, that's cool too. More money to play in the casino. MGM Grand is a monster of a hotel. It's humongous. I have an entire video about that and my stay over there. But right now we're walking from MGM over the outdoor pedestrian walkway that goes over the street that goes right conveniently right to Tropicana. The Tropicana is an older hotel. I think it's in the works for a remodel. It's not bad. It's very white. Um, it's tropical feeling, but not like Mandalay Bay. It's not very huge. It's not very small. It's just pretty average for me, but it does have the Prince Purple Rain show. Also at the Tropicana, you could find a Michael Jackson tribute. And there's also the Legend show, which I believe at the time of my visit, it was three different Elvis performers. The theater was pretty nice. It was very large. The sound was pretty good. Um, it wasn't tables in the back. It was more like a theater seating type style. Here's a small peekaboo for you. That was very fun. I highly recommend Purple Rain if you're a Prince fan or even if you just love 80s music. So much to do, so little time. Do check out though before your trip all the things that are playing. I use Vegas.com. I go down on there and I see what's playing what day to kind of get a general idea about what I want to do while I'm in Vegas. From there it helps me plan better where I want to stay, where I want to dine, how we're going to get there, how many days monorail passes do I need. See how this all ties in together? There's a lot of planning. Thank you for hanging with me and my husband Kelly. We really enjoy your company. Here are my playlists for you to explore. On the left will be what we did in a day. On the right, resort tours if you want to see a resort in full. And on the bottom, my monorail tour, all the stops. But get your butt to Vegas. Be well to yourself, kind to others, and safe travels to you.